Welcome to techniques for bracing and welding metal sculpture using the Hinrob 2000. For years and years and years, anytime I wanted to braze hot rolled steel, I had to grind it down in order to get the bronze, the bronze rod, to adhere to the hot rolled steel. Okay, here's the 1 8 inch material, hot rolled steel. Didn't have to clean this off at all. Didn't have to get down to base metal. I'm keeping my rod in between the flame and that copper tubing. So there's just enough heat right there. And what's happening? is that the bronze is going on the base on the eighth inch hot rolled steel and it's just rolling right up there. And there's the copper tubing. You can see the bronze right around there. And being able to get the bronze right down on this one eighth material and let it roll right up onto the copper tube without burning up the copper tubing. Okay, now what I'm using for this is the number one. It's coming in here at one spot. I'm actually using a tip that's maybe just a little bit smaller than what I could use. But I just want to make sure that I don't burn through this. Now that I've released the clamps, I want to get these ends. Everything's pretty well together here. So I can just come and if you can just see this, just moving my torch just slightly, just getting both sides of the metal, the edges, so they're molten and they just flow together as one. Yeah, we've got an excellent fusion weld there. Probably will not even have to use the grinder. Probably the sander will just smooth out any rough places and round this so I get a nice rounded finish. For an upcoming exhibit, one of the pieces I'm doing is a five inch cube. Now, you might find this a little bit easier because this is 1 8 inch material, 1 8 inch hot rolled steel, as opposed to the 3 32nd that we did before. So, it's a little more forgiving. Now, I'm using the number two tip. There's quite a bit of heat going right in there. But because this is 1 8 I'm not concerned about burning through it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of do a little fusion weld here, just tack weld that together several places. Got these seams fused together. Next step is to do some sanding and sand these seams down. It looks like I may have a little bit of grinding but not much. Pretty good fusion welds here. This is the 5 inch cube that I fused welded the 1 8 inch material hot rolled steel sanded down the seams a couple of them I did have to grind down then ground down this gray covering right in here on all six sides get rid of that hot roll look then sanded the whole piece mounted it on a five inch square 
quarter inch block of steel with a quarter inch pin coming up that comes up right to this pinnacle which means that this cube will rotate nice looking piece fair amount of work but as I say nice looking piece when you're finished I'm going to tack weld these ends together. What I have here is two pieces of 8 inch hot rolled steel. This is basically the same thing as fusion welding, except they were adding a fuller rod. Not too shabby. Looks pretty good.